hello guys uh, in this video we are going to see how to create uh, this type of animation for your website so that is let's get started uh, let me something explain about this animation first so what is happening here uh, this is uh, made by before element and we are just animating its width this before element width we are animating just its width <clears throat> so let's get started mm. so for that we are just taking on let's say on h1 Want to hire a developer and uh, on next line we are just have a lie let's say have lauren let's just have the dramatics we just want to see how to how it works so for that we're just taking some word let's duplicate it to the five elements six elements let's say and uh, let's give some styling to it <coughs> so by styling we are just adding internal size it to the <coughs> body let's give some body background background linear gradient purple comma <coughs> violet Let's further improve this and I mean height 90 vs to cover this whole background. <coughs> so let's open this with live server. So it's looking like this now, and uh, okay. Let's give some different color to this background. Mm -hmm. For that, let's modify something. And we are uh, we want to take uh, like this something. So for rotate, let's say to right. looking something awesome so we just let's get started to give some style to its fonts mm, let's give font family to sans serif <coughs> now it's a style you will list style none and uh, margin 0 and piling 0 let's reset the default styling for all element star margin point 0 and box sizing water box so for now it's looking like this let's give some padding to it padding 30 pixel let's give some is margin bottom to the heading so for that we just uh, adding h1 margin bottom of 15 pixel and uh, let's give some margin bottom to the ally margin bottom let's say uh, 9 pixel and uh, okay now let's give some style uh, let's say for index number data index one we are just we are just going to 
adding serial number and we will play with the four element to show the index okay you can also add with the span tag but we just want to minimize the um, its uh, elements we just want to keep the minimum nodes in the or less s1 element to make it fast so whenever you are even if you are you are working on the large applications so you will have to uh, keep the nodes uh, nodes uh, count minimum so that's the perform better mm. so in li before we are just adding a before element content content we are just want to show this index number one two three four five and six so let's see for now it's not coming but we are just want to take it take this attribute and we want to show in before element so for that we will just add data index now we can see it's added here now we will just give a styling sum let's say 30 pixel background white and let's say make it rounded water radius with 50% let's give it display flex and uh, make this flex ring zero so that it uh, doesn't stretch its width now let's place this i place this number to the center for the centering this element we will just make it display flex justify contain center for horizontal alignment horizontal alignment to the center and align it with center for vertical alignment to the center now it's in the perfect center now let's give some spacing this is not this and this element is not proper center to the in vertical direction so let's give the ally element a display flex and align item center and for gapping for gapping we will just give some gap gap let's say 20 pixel out like this and okay let's give some more margin bottom to the ally element uh, let's say margin bottom 50 pixel okay now let's animate this one more element we have required to show its border bottom so that like this this is as before is already created we will take uh, use of after element so we will just add a like after contain link height let's say 3 pixel width initially will be 0 and uh, background let's say uh, let's say blue blue so if we let's get it's for this it's for visibility we are just giving to the 20 pixel and let's get position absolute so that it we can show to the bottom bottom let's say top 100% and left zero and for that to work let's give ally to the position app position relative now you can see now let's set it position to the after this this is spacing so this circle is of 30 pixel and we have gave a spacing of the 50 pixel so this would start from the left up after 50 pixel so for that uh, we will give its left as 50 pixel now it's starting from here now let's animate this we just want to uh, add active class one by one uh, when its animation is complete then it will switch to the next element and will start animating this and when 
when it's completed it will switch to the next element and then next to next to next when it reaches to the last element it will just jump to the first element and so on so for that um, let's say this has active class okay so let's add an animation to animate that border let's say use of keyframes let's say progress for that we just want 100 percent its width should be 100 percent initially its width is 0 percent gradually when its time ends it will increase to the 100 percent so let's give its animation animation so we will use certain property let's say animation name is the progress animation timing one is timing function linear and direction is of forwards so <coughs> okay animation name is not correct that's why now working now it should work okay but it's going to 100 percent let's make this width max to the 100 percent of the li so for that uh, let's give the li width is equal to max content and uh, okay now it will take maximum width of li its parent so for now s the li width is complete from here to here from this and this so we want to decrease 50 pixels so that it ends here so for that we will just <coughs> decrease this calc 100% minus 50 pixel so for that work there should be space between the uh, sign so now it's perfect now we want to switch one by one complete the animation for that we will just add active class one by one and here we will take help of the animation listener animation event listener so whenever we will listen this animation to complete whenever when when the time which the time when this animation completes i will add the active class to the another element <coughs> so let's say add, add script uh, let's select uh, ally elements let's say give name is slides the queen dot query selector all let's say evil ally it will select all ally so for that let's say slides dot for each we can as slides act as array like list so we can perform for each function and for each on for each element we will perform an event in listener li dot add event listener animation end and a callback function <coughs> so what you want to do on animation end we will just add active class we will just remove all active class let's say slides dot forage last is dot remove active class and just add active class to the next element so if uh, el dot next element sibling if el has next element sibling if el has net next element sibling then add active class to the next element sibling el dot next element sibling dot class list dot add active 
otherwise a directly plus to the first child so for that slides 0 dot class list dot 8 active so what's happening here let's check class name or oh, is being edited so for now it's not working maybe this limit is an animation and and event animation and event so this animation and make sure the event name is correct so what is doing it's just first of all it's just removing it plus from each from each ally and then yell dot next event sibling that class list at eight on animation is just finding the next element then adding it to class if there is no next element sibling then it's just uh, moving to the first slide so it should work finally let's see why it's not working okay so on animation end what's not working so what happening here after adding t class we just it just first starting okay got it this animation I want to apply on the active class only so when ally that active then only we want to run the animation okay now it should work okay class is being switched being switched so it should work now so for that it's worth the ally ally afterwards should be zero and there should be transition old 0.3s and what's happening here class list active what's happening here? let's say let's let's stop animation and just debug this what happening behind this so let's stop the animation it's currently here and often element is here and okay so i just want to animate oh, we just have to apply this animation on the after element okay now it should work i think let's play the animation now it's working fine now let's make like this so what we will do uh we will just on 80 percent we will just make this left position to the 50 percent now let's how it's working okay and its width will be width should be 50 percent and 100 percent also it should be okay yeah 100 percent should be width should be half 
okay so what's happening here let's increase timing and see what's happening let's increase more time and you see what's happening behind the scene so it's again okay It's again going to the left side. What's happening? Okay, let's make it left hundred percent. It said I had zero percent. Let's make it left onset one hundred percent. One hundred percent. We can say reduce it to zero, not zero. Let's say make it ten percent and uh, yeah okay so on the hundred percent is worth being zero percent okay so now decrease this timing What's happening to so width should be? What's behaving like this? Um, no, it should be forward only because you want to just make it end to the forwards only. it's going to the left side what we can do here for this okay what's left should be 100 percent i think okay now it's working fine Let's say give this image to the two, two second. It can be more smooth. So now it's currently working fine. Okay, so this was let's recap the how we have done for now. So for now we just have we just taken an heading element and UL and just it is six element into this and for index for showing index we just taking help of data index and uh, on before element we just setting this content property to the data index for that we just you just can use attribute property and the attribute name and just take the that value and so it's set its uh, value to its content and for we have just Taken height with 30 pixel with just background white to make the circular we just have set it back border radius to 50 percent and it was shrinking so that's why we have just stopped shrinking by setting this flag shrink to the zero and uh, for keeping that number to the proper center proper center we just uh, applied display flex justify content center for horizontal alignment and alignment center line item center for the vertical alignment and uh, the progress bar because we have already utilized the before property so we we have the after property so we are using the after after pseudo element okay so same same like that we just setting its height three pixel is we want to set the height height is this much 
and width should be increased from 0 to 100 percent so we are uh, just animating the width from 0 to 100 percent over the time of the two seconds we are here we have the added some transition so this causes our width to transit its value from 0 to 100 percent over the period of the two seconds so so far now it's working like we have just uh, you try the CSS3 keyframe animation for that we just we just first added with 100% width should be 100% initially we had said this but we have just changed the property because we want this animation styles so what what we're doing initially its width will be 100% in 50% time it will be its width will be 50% and finally when it around going to the ending with the time it's we are just setting its width to the zero percent so that it should be finished at the end and for for this for why you are using this 80 percent property because we want to set this because we want to move this this state from here to here so that's we have just set this property left 50 percent this left property will also change over the time of the two second from zero left zero to left 50 percent and width zero to width 50 percent so that's why it's, it looks animated over the time of the two second this is the scene how the animation works behind the scene where its value goes tran goes to transit from uh, zero to hundred percent or from one value to the to another value so for now it was styling now move to the JS part so what we are doing we are just checking when it's when the first animation is going to end and we are listening the element animation and listener event so whenever it's going to end we are just checking what is its next element and we are setting the active class to its next element and uh, so on until it reaches to the last element when it reaches the last element and its animation is end then we are moving back to the first element that's why we are setting the choosing here first element array first element because all element is stored in the slides array and we are getting the first element first element means this first first ally so on here we are just adding the active class otherwise we are checking the next element and we are setting the active class so how this if we talk about how how this code is working so the slides it's a for each element uh, we are just passing a callback function so it's running this this highlighted from this highlighted lines is running for each element okay so each time it's, it, it is checking this next element if there is next element is just adding a active class otherwise it's just moving to the first element and it's just adding the first element active class so how this was how it's working so this was the video we have learned how to animate this type and further we will see the other animation for now let's finish this thanks for watching